final student speaker is Nian Nolasco. Uh, in 2012, Nian worked at McKesson Corp, a Fortune 20 company, working on in, the most, in one of the most complex industries in the private sector, healthcare and technology. She came to Presidio because she believed in the potential for further impact found in the middle of the private and public sector dual degree. That makes sense, right? She's uh, the two-time recipient of the Richard M. Gray Scholarship, 2014 MPA capstone on marine protection designation for Ross Sea, contributed to her being selected for a trip to Antarctica in 2015, and the notable with the no notable Sir Robert Swan. In 2016, she shifted her career to focus on public-private partnerships that create sustainable systems for social enterprise. She recently accepted a position at Goodwill Industries International and is proud to be helping shape the future of one of the world's most established triple bottom line companies. Today, she graduates from Presidio with a master's in business administration and a master's in public administration with a career that aligns her professional experience, academic qualification, and personal values. Nian? In 2012, my definition of sustainability was simple and naively noble. Recycling and composting. Unfortunately, my passion was often categorized as a quirk, even by myself. I came to Presidio because I needed to learn and be humbled enough to understand that sustainability is not just a noble pursuit. It is the necessary interse intersection of economic, environmental, and social growth. I needed a degree that not only legitimizes my passion, but also makes me marketable in the world today in the world it is becoming. Coming to Presidio was always about impact. The decision to choose a dual degree program was simple. The impact within private-public partnership is exponential. It ranges from agriculture, energy, education, global markets, etc. Today, my career is very much in the middle of a public-private partnership where we create solutions to poverty through the businesses we operate. I'm excited to wake up every day to go to work. And thanks to the dual degree program, I find myself relevant in an innovative environment. Allow me to elaborate. Being relevant. In 2015, I was selected to join an expedition to Antarctica. Imagine a land that has no infrastructure, no set settlement, nothing. Just an expanse of white as far as the eye can see. I stayed on a ship with 80 individuals from the private, public, and nonprofit sectors. Industries from education, healthcare, technology, entrepreneur, and petroleum. Yes, even Shell was there. I have never felt more strongly how much my experience as an MBA and MPA candidate truly made me relevant in today's world. We can bridge perspectives to elevate conversation beyond discourse. We can respectfully argue the value of social and environmental costs and benefits to allow for thoughtful pauses in conversations. We can demonstrate economic realities for struggling nonprofits while staying true to their mission. For Presidians to be relevant in the middle of the harshest, most uninhabited continent is something we can be proud of. Presidians, we are powerful when we are relevant, analytical, and concise. For some of us, we went to Presidio to be relevant to the issues in the U.S. and our home countries. In 2013, the Climate, Ri Climate Risk Index ranks Philippines, my country, as the fourth most vulnerable country in the world. In 2016, it dropped to 16th place thanks to partnerships between public and private sectors to shift economic dependence from agriculture. In addition, the partnership between national and local government and telecommunication companies improved our disaster relief infrastructure. Boys and girls, public-private partnership is where it's at. <laughs> Being innovative. Presidio teaches us two kinds of innovation. In sustainable products and services class, we spend five months designing, designing, and redesigning the latest and greatest product to address a market opportunity. We push the boundaries of conventional design and thinking. We use words like ideate, and we always, always build new apps. In public sector finance class, 
Innovation isn't always about coming up with the newest and better ideas. Rather, innovation can also be the recognition of existing great ideas from another sector, respecting the difference in priorities, and working together to create the best of breed solutions to address an intractable problem. Goodwill, where I work, is in the business of retail and workforce development. Goodwill creates solutions to poverty through businesses it operates. Innovation is more subtle than the private sector, but just as powerful. The dual degree program makes us relevant in an innovative space that spans sectors and diverse socioeconomic and education backgrounds where we artfully and with intention balance the mission and business of the organization. Angela Davis quotes, I am no longer accepting things I cannot change. I am changing the things I cannot accept. This needs to be repeated. I am no longer accepting things I cannot change. I am changing the things I cannot accept. Presidians, this is who we are and this is what we're doing. This is the song of our passion. Recycling, composting, climate change, poverty, discrimination, disaster relief are all related to sustainability. It may have started with recycling and composting, but today we can articulate its link to social and environmental justice, as well as economic prosperity. To end, a note of deepest gratitude to our professors who taught us to be activists and analysts, to those who taught us break even, WAC, ROI, probability, derivatives, multiplier effect, Topeka, Starfish, and five dynamics. <laughs> to the TAs who, had ha who have had to go through our grades, e-learn administration, and Wednesday 11.54 p.m. request for extensions. <laughs> Gratitude to the board and the staff for all of your support and guidance, for always knowing us by name and checking in on us despite your heavy workload. Thank you to, thank you to partners, friends, families, and adopted families. Priorities may have been unfairly shifted away from you for a short while, but you cheered and patiently watched us to go through sleepless nights and schizophrenic love and hate relationship with Presidio, our team, and our projects. <laughs> Finally, Presidians, thank you for the experience and the friendships. I'm a better person because of you. I leave you with this. Have faith in your path and in yourself. Thank you.